All right, hi. So I'm joined here by creator, co-writer, and director Lord de Clermont Torrent and <laughs> actor, main protagonist Matthias Jonatz. Wonderful to meet you. For the Mustang, this is such a great movie of marrying the confinements of life imprisonment versus freedom and showcasing a different method of rehabilitating prisoners. Now, Laure, when you were researching, you, um, a horse trainer said of, a, of this program, the horse <coughs> teaches the man who he really is. Yeah, and now I specifically would like to know why you were so drawn to an article that you read about this rehabilitation method. Yes, absolutely. Uh, the horse shows you, it will tell you who you are. It's this mirroring journey um, of those two creatures, like confined in a very small pen, who has to find uh, a way to communicate. And uh, it, takes, it can take weeks before the first touch. So they really learn in a deep level to build trust and respect. And I think that's so uh, poetic uh, within this very aggressive and violent environment. I, I, there is something about the dance and the invisible dialogues between those two um, creatures. Uh, and and I, I thought that it was actually the same character, it's the same, the very strong identification between those two twins who, who learn to, 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 to know who they are. Mm -hmm. um, yes, this is where I wanted to put the, my, the camera. And for yourself, Matthias, being the main actor and really having to establish that connection with the horse, what did the horse teach you and how did you feel acting with such wild things as well? I was just grateful because there's nothing more unpredictable uh, than a sincere, um, than a sincere individual being this animal, uh, the sincerity it doesn't calculate anything. There's no there's no agenda. There's no intention. So th it's a permanent surprise. And, and there's such a gentleness and poetic quality to to, to such an animal that is uh, that is very comforting uh, to be around. I mean, at least in, in my experience, um, not necessarily as Roman, uh, of course, also as Roman, but also on a personal level, I, I was very. Uh, very happy to be in the proximity of such a beautiful animal. Mm -hmm. What drew you specifically to Roman and the storyline? Well, I think it's uh, the relevance of the story, the, the actuality of it all. Uh, I think it's a, it's a subject that is very, um, very much in the forefront uh, nowadays. Um, so, so that then also the, the the mysterious quality of that universe. You know, isolation, prison, even though we've seen many movies, many documentaries, it's still kind of a unknown territory, especially emotionally. What, what is that emotional territory for such an individual? Um, so all of these elements, so, so, so the relevance, then the, the challenge it, it proposes for you as an actor to get into that kind of space, um, the difficulty of it all, and, and then, yeah, the, the, the poetic, the poetic, dimension that the movie definitely has. And of course, I don't want to talk about message, but I think the, the movie really contributes to the notion that transformation is absolutely possible, that nothing is truly ever lost. The, the, it only starts with the willingness of the individual to start the, ch the process of change, and then it's about support and care and tenderness and kindness. And I think that this film really contributes to that notion, and I think that's a very valuable notion which is extremely relevant in 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 the very confusing world and times that we live in nowadays yeah. Yeah, so well thank you so much <laughs> thank you for talking to Pav tv it was wonderful meeting thank you, you. So, thank you so much, much.